What is up guys? Man, has it been a minute since I have made a Call of Duty video. And in today's video, I'm going to be doing a Modern Warfare 3 review, kind of. I'm going to go over the positives and negatives about this game. And I'm going to explain why this game is a delicious cake covered in a poop frosting. Yeah, I don't know where I came up with that, but it just popped in my head one day and that's what we're going with. So first, let's get into the positives and why I think this is a really good Call of Duty. But then I'm going to get into the negatives that for me personally are going to keep me away from this game. And this frosting, this brown frosting has been on pretty much every single Call of Duty game since Modern Warfare 2019. And I just can't take it anymore. I'm done eating. I can't eat anymore. I just won't do it. So first we're going to go over the positives and then we're going to get into the poop frosting. Number one, the gunplay in this game is absolutely fantastic. The main reason I like the gunplay in this game compared to modern warfare 2 is there is not a ton of visual recoil the gunplay is 10 times better without that insane amount of visual recoil you can actually use like a 3x optic and it's not bouncing all over the place so number one is the gunplay in this game is great next we're going to be talking about the maps of course the maps in this game are great because they are remastered maps from og modern warfare 2 should have got them in modern warfare 2 2022 but it doesn't matter. The maps in this game are great. Another positive about Modern Warfare 3. Next, my favorite thing about Modern Warfare 3 is the war mode. Okay, the war mode. Remember war mode from back in Call of Duty World War 2? Yeah, that is back in Modern Warfare 3. And it is a lot of fun. The only negative thing about war mode is, is there's only one map. So hopefully they'll add more maps with war mode because war mode is a blast. And it's a lot more casual because all the sweats are just playing regular 6v6. So war mode is a blast. And as far as ground war goes, I think ground war in this game is decent. It's a hell of a lot better than ground war in modern warfare 2 that's a fact modern warfare 2019 ground war was pretty good i'll give it that so i think ground war in this game is pretty damn good as well to be honest with you i'm kind of having fun at ground war the only problem is it lags like crazy but that's a whole nother story all right and next of course we're going to be talking about the movement the movement in this game is a lot better than what we have or had in modern warfare 2 now is it as good as modern warfare 2019 Warzone one absolutely not but it is a hell of a lot better than Modern Warfare 2. So another positive, the movement in this game is pretty damn good. All right, and another positive thing about Modern Warfare 3 is the new zombie DMZ mode. Now, I think it's a pretty big L that there's no PvP, but I totally understand why there wouldn't be PvP. I think the zombies community would be pretty upset if there was PvP, but what I think they should do to make DMZ players, because DMZ is basically dead. I'm telling you, it's going to be completely dead in the next... It's probably dead right now as we speak. There's probably no one playing it, but they should have a friendly playlist like it is right now. All the other players on the map are friendly, and then they should have have a pvp enabled playlist for zombie modern warfare 3 or modern warfare 3 zombies excuse me so instead of everybody on the map being friendly they're actually enemies that would give the mode some grit and then for the zombies community or for the people that just want to do missions and don't want to focus on the pvp aspect they could just go to the regular version will they make that happen i actually don't know i can't say no i think if they did it would be a massive w it would be good for the dmz community and it would be good for the zombie community everybody's happy pvp enabled one server everybody's friendly on the other server playlist free choice i'm gonna shut up now moving on next they improved the visibility from the beta thank god because the visibility in the beta was terrible now it's a lot better it's still not great but it's a lot better than what it was in the beta thank you sledgehammer and another thing feedback they listen to feedback. Sledgehammer Games listens to feedback like every good dev team should. So those are the positives with Modern Warfare 3. All in all, it's a really good game at its core. At its core, it's a solid game, if I'm being honest. Solid Call of Duty game. It's a delicious cake. But then Activision can't help themselves. They have to cover it in some brown poo poo frosting now i'm gonna explain what that frosting is now the first one let's just get it out of the way we're gonna say what it is and this subject has been just talked about too much and i'm sure you don't even want to hear about it but number one is skill-based matchmaking okay not gonna go into it like i said it's terrible it completely ruins the experience og skill-based matchmaking was better protect a brand new player and someone who's like really really bad protect those people once you kind of get the hang of the game gen pop Okay, gen pop, skill-based matchmaking, it just ruins the experience for me in public matches. All right, the next ingredient in the frosting is gonna be the lag, guys. The lag in this game is bad, and no, it is not my internet. I have fiber internet, and I am directly wired into my PC. 
No other game lags. Nothing else lags. I play a lot of games. No other game lags. It's the game. It's the servers. The lag is terrible. Now, it's not as bad as it was in Modern Warfare 2. I'll give them that. It's improved, but it still ruins the experience for me, okay? Now, this next one, this next ingredient in the frosting, this one's actually the number one reason why this game is kind of ruined for me, and that is the spawns. The spawns in this game are infuriating. They're not fixed, and they'll never be fixed, and let me explain why they'll never be fixed. The spawns are meant to be like that. It is part of the engagement-based matchmaking. It is 100% supposed to be like that. They want to spawn people behind you, or you spawn behind someone else, you ruin their kill streak. It is all 100% supposed to be like that. It is your The spawns are set up so everyone has an equal opportunity to kill everybody. That's I I, I know I know it's just a conspiracy theory, but that's just what it feels like to me. If you play Call of Duty enough, you you know what I'm talking about here. You know what the f I am talking about here. And that is a and, and this type of shit is the reason why I basically kind of stopped covering Call of Duty on my channel. Unless it's like Warzone or Fireteam and Black Ops Cold War, bigger modes. Because in Warzone, you're not going to just spawn randomly on the map right behind somebody. That's not how it works. You're going to spawn in the air, right? So the spawns are more controlled in the, the bigger battles. But when it comes to these like 6v6 modes, except war mode, I'm gonna go back to war mode because war mode spawns are pretty controlled because it's one team on this side and one team on that side. No one's spawning behind you. That's another reason why I like war mode. But the spawns is the number one killer for me in Call of Duty multiplayer, okay? I will take the thickest skill-based matchmaking in the world. I don't care, okay? I mean, I do care, but spawns is number one that's the main ingredient in this frosting is the spawns and it's the main reason i'm not going to be covering modern warfare 3 on my channel because modern warfare 3 is misery it's miserable it's dog shit okay and i know you don't hear me like this all the time like yelling and like oh my god what's stern but uh, i'm just telling you how i feel guys okay i might post some warzone videos even though they do terrible on my channel now i still have full i still have fun in warzone but I ain't going to be covering this multiplayer game. I ain't doing it because this game is amazing, but it has all these little hidden things going on in the background that just it just eats you alive. And I'm not going to do it. So that's the video. Modern Warfare 3, amazing game at its core. Delicious Trace Leches cake covered in poop frosting. Completely ruining the cake. You're not going to eat a cake with poop frosting on it. You're not, because that's disgusting, and you won't do it. That is all for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you are brand new, and let me know, how are you enjoying Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer so far? Again, thank you so much for watching, guys. Let me know all your thoughts and feelings down below in the comment section. Follow me on Twitter. Join my Discord. I will leave it linked down in the description below. Till next time, guys. Straight out.